welcome back to my channel. Such a fruit loop. <laughs> Today for a video, I have a Ulta haul. Probably like, what the hell? We just did one. There's a lot of things that I've had my eye on that I wanted to get. So I decided, why not pick it up? I had 28% off anyways, so I saved a bunch of money. Woo! I hope you guys like hauls as much as I do, because I love makeup shopping. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, so then you can get a notification every time I put up a new video, and we could just be friends. No. Nah. Don't follow me on any of my social medias. I will leave it in the screen and in the description box down below. Let's just jump right into this Ulta haul. The first thing I got was this Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I've literally been contemplating if I wanted this palette or not, and I finally just got it because I was so sick of being like, do I want it? Do I want it? Do I want it? Like, oh, just get the gosh darn palette, okay? <laughs> And I'm sure you guys have seen this literally everywhere. This is my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I love this color. I almost want it in like a lip color if it didn't wash me out. It's felt and it's just, oh my god, it's so pretty. It comes with a mirror and it also comes with a really nice brush. Oh, that's going to be perfect for in the crease. Oh, I love when they give you crease brushes. And then this kind of just looks like a flat pencil brush. My biggest thing is that I thought that this palette was going to look like the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. That's one of the biggest reasons why I didn't want to pick up the Anastasia one, but in a makeup lover's eyes, everything is just completely different, let's be honest. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I'll do a video on these two, kind of giving the similarities and differences, just in case you're kind of in the same rut that I was in about getting this palette. I mean, I think everyone should just pick it up anyways because these colors are just gorge. And the pigmentation is out of this flippity jippity world. The next thing I got was the Revolution Blush Palette. This is in the shade Goddess. What really drew me to this palette was this peach blush over here and then these two highlighters. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. These are super affordable palettes. I definitely think that you should check out Makeup Revolution at Ulta because you can use the 350 off. $15 or more and these palettes are usually like 10 I believe they're so pigmented makeup revolution is literally become one of my favorite makeup brands at the drugstore because they're so affordable and the pigmentation is just amazing See, I got was the Murad clarifying cleanser this is one of my favorite cleansers if I'm not using the proactive cleanser I actually just had a updated skincare routine so if you guys didn't see that video I will leave it in the description box down below but I am obsessed with this cleanser along with my proactive when I really want to focus on my skin or when it's you know that time of the month <sighs> I like to use the proactive because it's so potent and it really does help subdued any blemishes that I might have in the future or any blemishes that I might have on my face at that moment but this one's a really gentle cleanser that gets the job done with acne this acne stress control triple action toner now in my video i showed you guys the toner acne pad that i have from zo health skincare and i I'm obsessed with those, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative because Zoe is actually a really expensive skincare brand. I mean, I love spending money on skincare. You only have one skin. <laughs> How do you even say that? You guys know what I mean. I just want to be able to take care of my skin the best that I can. So this stuff I've heard really good reviews about because it helps blemishes that are beneath the surface so that they don't come through and it also treats blemishes that are on the skin currently. I'm hoping that'll be a good alternative for you guys instead of the Zo acne pads. I got a moisturizer from Simple. I have never tried anything from Simple before but I really really wanted a moisturizer for the daytime that had a lot of SPF in it because I want to protect my skin as much as I can. So this is the Simple Protecting Light Moisturizer SPF 15 and it's actually I swatched it on the back of my hand it's really nice so far. I actually really like it. It's a white cream and it doesn't have 
much of a scent to it which i really appreciate this bare minerals oil obsessed total cleansing oil so i watched desi perkins skincare routine not too long ago and i noticed that she was using the juice beauty cleansing oil and i was like oh my god i want to try that but of course alto was out of it so i was like whatever so the girl suggested this so i'm really excited to use this because i don't use a lot of cleansing oils i just find them to be annoying but i love the fact that it's an oil and it puts hydration back into your face and i've always heard that these are really good for breaking down makeup i actually used to use coconut oil i'm interested to see how it will go Hopefully it'll make my skin plump and moisturize. Also got another sunless tan applicator mitt because my other one was completely ruined. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging. This has an SPF of 50. Could that be any longer? I've always heard a bunch of people talk about this and I just wanted to give it a whirl. This is in the shade tan, but I mean, I'm sorry why isn't this completely full like look at how much is missing already i hate when brands do that like, like drives me nuts this crap was like i think 38 i want to say and you're gonna jit me that just drives me nuts with makeup like fill up the damn bottle it comes with a pump so that's really exciting i'm interested to try this out i've heard so many people talk about it and i love that it has spf of 50. I got the NYX Lip Luster. This is actually a new lip product from NYX, and this is the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. It feels like nothing on the lips. When you apply it, it literally feels like water. I think it's super pretty. It has a really nice shine when it first goes on the lips, but of course it kind of like dries down to a satin finish. This is in the shade Rustic Mirage. The Tarte shape tape contour concealer i was wondering why the heck these are so huge like can you guys see how big this is so here's the naked concealer just you guys see how big this tarte concealer is they're actually made for contouring which you know makes sense contour concealer i got mine in the shade light medium and look how big this wand is it's absolutely huge <laughs> Then the last thing I got was the Fiona Styles Invisible Finish Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Madison, and I've just been going crazy with loose setting powders. I love the packaging of this. I think it's so pretty and sleek with this dark purple. It comes with a little puff, which is nice. And then this is what it looks like. You probably really can't see. I actually tried this on my face today. It's so pretty oh my gosh it kind of like blurs out the skin a little bit i will say that if you have dry skin i don't know if it'll work out that well because it might cling to dry patches i'm gonna work with it a little bit more and kind of give my feedback to you guys in a little bit but so far this is such a fun Ulta Gem. I haven't heard anyone talk about this powder before, so I wanted to give it a whirl, and so far I really, really like it. It's so pretty, and I didn't even use a primer today because I really wanted to kind of put this to the test, and I set my face, and you can't even see my pores. I was blown away. It's kind of like that Givenchy powder that I always talk about that I absolutely love because that kind of blurs out any lines or fine pores that you might have on your face, so I'm super excited about that completes my Alta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love hauls as much as I do. <laughs> and don't forget to hit subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later.